So for using for building one thing in a row, that's just fine. But what if we want multiple outputs from our our factory, which is usually what you should probably have. So I'm going to go over here and there's an add an item button. And let's say I also want reinforced iron plates. So uh, there's my 450 screws. There's my one reinforced iron plate per minute. And it's going to use 124 of our 480 input iron. So let's bump this up. Let's see what happens if we make 50. Oh, we're going to need 230 more units from somewhere else. So I'm going to bump this down. Let's try 35. We need 52 extra units. 32 means we need 15 extra units. Okay, so we go with 30 extra units. There we go. And we're using 472 out of 480. Okay, so that's fine. So we're using pretty much all of our iron. And we're going to get 30 reinforced iron plates and 450 screws. So one of the things we can do is let's reduce our screws. I only want 200 screws a minute. And... Uh, let's see, I'm going to use 410. Okay, I'm just going to refresh this page. There we are. So uh, we're using 410 of our iron. So let's use a little bit more. 35 plates, 470 out of 480. Can I get 36 plates? No, I can't. Okay, so 35 plates, and I could probably bump up my screws a little bit. So now you can see the workflow where I would have 16, 15 in a bit, smelters, take all of this, run into a manifold, and get um, into 16 smelters making iron ingots. Then I would split that output, and you can just do this all as one big manifold, um, and have 13 constructors making cast screws, and 11 constructors making iron plates merge uh, half it so this cast screws your screws come out of this one and then take the output of your screws and your plates and have seven assemblers making iron plates and there you go you'll get 35 reinforced iron plate a minute and 200 screws a minute from one node and now it's just a matter of organization to make, you know, 16 smelters. Do you make eight in a row and then put eight above them on another floor and use lifters to pull it along? Do you make one big wide um, factory? Whatever. However you go about it, you've got a map now. The neat part about it is the URL of this page. You can bookmark it now and it will bring you back to this exact recipe right here. Um because every time you make a change, it saves it in the URL so that um, you can come back. So you can bookmark a whole bunch of different recipes and uh, you get them back. The next thing I want to do is... Here, I'll go to a new video.